this piece that either needs copyright. I've been I've given it to other to people as gifts, but some of them have been like, you need to copyright it, or I like use other people's names in this, so I don't know if that's necessarily legal to like sell it for commercial use because it's like using women's names. Right. So I yeah, guess I, I just don't know this. if this is like public information or, um, you know, I'm, I'm sure people could take this idea and create their own as well. Okay, so, so copyright protects original works of authorship. Um, so it's sort of the way that you've laid this out here and the d different color choices. Um, the names, she's got, um, yeah, yeah. But, um, Aretha Franklin for A, Beyonce Knowles for B, and then you get the idea for the rest of, of the different categories. Um, obviously, there's no copyright would attach in the person's name because that's their name. Um, you could file. So in the United States, the way copyright works is the copyright attaches as soon as the work of authorship is in a tangible form of medium. So in this case, we've got this really nice heavy paper. So copyright has attached. This gives you the right to copy it, distribute it, sell it, make, uh, make reproductions, make derivative works. The trick is if you ever need to enforce your copyright, then you need to register it. So in some cases, you can re register it beforehand. Um, and then that's actually recommended. So you can go to the Library of Congress's website and register your work. Um, it's fairly straightforward. It's one of the few times where I tell you that you probably don't need an attorney to help you. Um, it's They ask you a series of questions and then you just answer them and then you get the registration certificate. Um, so then the other question that comes up, and this is a trickier question, is, is um, whether you're using the person's name as endorsement of your product and I don't know I think you're okay I th the only the only thing and I'm not very good at like digesting all of this information when I read it so that's why yeah I it's oh it's very confusing who understands it but I know that with some artwork, like public, like photographers who take pictures of people like on the streets, that's considered like public information because it's out in the public. It's, so I don't know if like these names are public information for all of us to know. Yeah, that's a great question. It. There are, they are out in the public. So if the newspaper prints the photograph, then that's perfectly fine because it's news. But let's say the person's wearing a Chanel handbag and Chanel takes the print and they publish it, then it gives the appearance oh. of advertising. Yeah. Okay. So then you're sort of, you're, you're relying on their likeness. I don't think you're quite doing that here, and these are just people's names, and they're women, and they're famous women, and then, so you've got the code here, like non golden is known for photography. Mm -hmm. I think this is all public information, so I think I don't think there's a ton of copyright in here, but it is the the unique arrangement I think does have copyright. Okay. I I think that you're okay with respect to the rights of publicity issue. Um, if anybody ever said anything, you would just stop creating them.